So President Webb, we're here at Soccer X in Barbados. You made the point very, this morning very forcefully that you think come 2026 it will be CONCACAF's turn to host the World Cup. Just explain your reasoning behind that. I think if you, if you look at the, the landscape of, of the World Cup and, uh, and, and you realize of course since CONCACAF hosted the World Cup in 1994, uh, various confederations would have hosted it, um, every other confederation would have hosted it in the last 32 years from 2026 and CONCACAF would not. So definitely I believe that, that it's time that, uh, that CONCACAF uh, uh, should have the, the legitimate right to, to 2026. And you've made a strong point about the strength of football in CONCACAF. What does having an event like Soccer X in CONCACAF do for that? Well, of course, I mean, uh, uh, having Soccer X, of course, uh, in, uh, in the Confederation, of course, uh, football is big business and uh, really gives an opportunity for, for uh, industry leaders in, in, uh, in football, an opportunity to network, to, um, to really take a, take a, um, a back seat and to participate in Soccer X and use Soccer X is really a, a great think tank for, uh, for the future for our confederation. And one issue that's burning in the game at the moment is racism. You, you've spoken very strongly about it. You're on the task force for FIFA. Um, I know in England recently, Jose Mourinho made a point there was no racism. It's not a big problem in football. How, how unhelpful is that coming from such an influential figure in the game? Well, I, I, obviously, the, the, one of the biggest problems with, with uh, racism is, is ignorance. And, um, and really, I think it's, it's, it's the, the lack of education and, and, and throughout societies is, is what manifests in, in uh, and we see the racism within stadiums and so forth. And when you look at, at the economic situation, when you look at uh, the elections in countries now uh, uh, in the eastern parts of Europe, of course, um, the way they're voting and electing governments and so forth, uh, it's, not it's not encouraging that we're winning a battle against racism. So, so could something like the Rooney Rule, if that was introduced on a wider sense, it works in North American sport, could that be more useful in, in European football, for example, or worldwide football? Yes, it, could, it definitely can, but, but the Rooney Rule, of course, deals with one aspect of it. It deals with, with coaching, providing opportunity for, uh, for uh, coaching. And, and really, when you, you know, the Rooney Rule, all it does is, is, is gives an opportunity for someone to have an interview to sit down to have a, a cup of coffee or, or to have a, a, a dialogue. It's not necessary to say that you must hire uh, someone or to give someone preferential treatment. It's just a matter of creating an opportunity that someone has that opportunity. Um, but the Rooney Rule deals with one aspect when it comes to the coaching. The other aspect we must deal with also is, is, uh, is um, look at the club, club situation, look at national associations to the standpoint. Uh, and then look at the confederation standpoint as far as representation and diversity on those committees as well.